you. Oh, good smolly. Looky there, boys, for the first fish of the day. That's an easy three pounder. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I gotta keep up with them. Yeah. Yep. Oh, wow. It's a hog. Oh, look at that. That's a freaking stud right there, boys. He slammed it. Look at that, boys. Freaking studly walleye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Tackle Jocks. I hope everyone is having a wonderful morning, evening, whatever time it is for you guys. But for me, it's morning, and today, this is the setup we're gonna be throwing. This is the Chase Bait Smuggler, the baby bird, baby. I've caught so many fish through this section of river on this lure right here, and hopefully today, that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys. Largies and smallies, both on this lure. We're gonna be making the haul to Eastman. It's quite a trek. And every once in a while, I'll be throwing this black and blue Bitsy Bug jig with the strange lures crawl daddy on the back, also black and blue. But with the water being this shallow, we're gonna be working a lot of top water and doing a lot of wading. So let's go ahead and get on in, boys. Water's nice and chilly this morning. It's coming out of this creek mouth. Alrighty, we are on the water. Well, that's fun. <laughs> that's exactly where I was gonna fish. Be careful, little buddy. That's some fast current you're swimming through right there. I respect it though. Straight sin it. Wow, that's cool. Sorry guys, didn't mean to scare you. She has two fawn. That is very rare. That one's taking a piss. You're doing good, mama. You're taking care of your babies. Yep. Oh, good Smalley. Where's he at? Oh, there he is. Stay down, buddy. Stay down. Oh, yeah, come up here. Come up here, come up here. Come up here and stay down. Come up here and stay down. Stay down. Oh, stop jumping. Nice. Oh, yeah, boys, we got him. We got him. That's a good start to the day right there. Let's get the yak over here. There we go. Looky there, boys, for the first fish of the day. That's an easy three pounder. Wow, what a fight. I can't even imagine what a five pounder is gonna feel like in this current. I can barely move these three pounders. Look at that, absolute beauty. Let's unclip for a sec. Okay. Gotta get this fish some water. Don't worry, you'll be going back, buddy. Hey, don't worry, big guy. Look at that, just a studly small mouth to start the day. Oh yeah, boys. Actually, let's get him up against that. Just barely certified lab hog status to start the day. What about that? Wow, what a little pig. Absolutely beautiful coloration too. I mean, look at that. You can see his little tiger stripes coming out just a little bit. They do that when they get stressed. And I'd say he didn't expect to be hooked by that crawdad he was eating. Let's see if my assumption was correct. He's got the mouth of a three pounder, that's for sure. Ooh, 211 and a half. 
Yeah, he's right under three. It's actually probably a 212. I didn't take the, the necessary steps to actually zero the scale, but look at that. Beautiful. Alrighty, buddy. We appreciate you. And hopefully, we catch your mama. Wow, what a stud. Going straight back out into the current. That's so cool. Oh my God. Oh, I regret not bringing a frog now. I'll know that for next time I come up here. Hey, what's up, bro? I wanted you to see this. Look at this. What you got? Oh, I don't have anything. It's at that juicy spot on the river. This is all hydrilla. It's going like a quarter of the way into the river and it's out here too. Look at that, dude. I didn't bring a frog. <laughs> The one time I don't have my frog on me. This is a mistake that I would not make the next few trips over here, and for good reason. Because this exact location eventually paid off in my first ever smallie on a frog. Yep, yep, that's a smallie. And if you guys haven't seen that video, then be sure to click the link in the top right corner. Wow, first ever smallie on the frog, that is insane. Jesus, look at this dragonfly. What a freaking giant. Hey buddy, coming to hang out? Can you sit on my thumb instead? Oh, okay, there you go, that works too. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I gotta keep up with them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, small jaws, come here. Freaking small air jaws. Look at that, boys. Little chunk. Looky there, boys. Bitsy bug jig, crawdaddy. Pulling out a river chunk. Nice. Get a quick pick. Alrighty. There you go, boys. This fish has been documented. Beauty. Appreciate you, buddy. There he goes. Alrighty. Wow. We've made it, boys. This is what we have paddled, waded, and fished for. This deep hole is probably the deepest section of the river until you get to where the forks meet. There's a smallie right here. I'm gonna see if I can catch him. Oh my God, that's a tank smallie. Okay. So obviously it's not the working setup, so. We might as well just go ahead and get out on this water right here. All right, guys, we made it to the juice. I'm gonna start right here with the Bitsy Bug Jig. Yep. Oh, little guy, spit it <laughs> right in front of me. He slammed it. This is a good fish too. Oh, whoa, whoa, wow. What a walleye, wow. That's my first ever walleye. Jesus, that's a freaking stud of a walleye too, man. Let's get over here where we can park. Boys, look at that stud. Wow, look at that boys, freaking studly walleye. Man, get a look at those chompers, choking on the jig. Wow, that is insane. All right, let's get you some water, buddy. What a beast, what a freaking pig. Beautiful fish too. For my first walleye, I mean, man, look at that. That's something else. That might even be the thumbnail right there. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. 
You are so pretty, buddy. You got some big old eyes. Wow. How crazy is that? Hey, none of that. Oh yeah, looky there. Easily over 22 inches. More like 22 and a half. Look at that beauty. Absolute beauty. Now, let's see if he'll be kind enough. Close your mouth, buddy. Let's see if he'll be kind enough to let me take a lap hog pick of him. Hey. There you go, boys. Three six on the dot. Wow. What a beauty. Looky there. What a snuggly walleye. Let's watch him swim back. All righty, sweetie. We're ready to see you go. Are you ready? Wow. It's insane. I got to experience this fish as long as I did. Looks like he's about to coast back out now. You ready, buddy? Yeah, he's going back out to the deep stuff again. Look at that. Wow. Oh. Oh. Wow. This isn't that big of a fish, but geez, did he run me. So fast, so quick. Look at that, boys. For a little chunk of a smallmouth. Look at that, boys. Beauty coming on the bitsy bug. Oh, he's hooked beautifully. Almost too good, so it's gonna take me a second to get him off. Look at that beauty of a smallmouth. Little freaking chunk to be his size. He's gonna grow up and be a five pounder. Okay, hope we got some good pictures because he's going back. Appreciate you, buddy. Pew! Off he goes. <laughs> yep. Oh, he got off. Oh, I couldn't keep up with him. river is ever changing and the fact is it's a daily occurrence water levels can swing from inches to feet in a matter of minutes and normally i would stay and fish this spot a little bit longer but as you can see it's slowly creeping up the launch ramp even and we don't want to push our luck so we're gonna head down to the other spillway down here and after that we're keeping it moving Yep. Oh, wow. It's a hog. It's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. Wow. <sighs> Calm down, buddy. I gotta take my phone and stuff out of my pocket so I can get in right here. See if it swallows me. Oh no, actually it's just about right. Wow. Boys, that might be my PB right there. Just throwing that out there. Stop this. There we go. Wow. 
Look at that, boys. That's a little stud muffin. Nice, we're gonna have to situate all our stuff here. Oh, look at that. That's a freaking stud right there, boys. He almost got away from me right there. And we didn't even get to measure him yet. Or weigh him. So we're gonna do that. I don't think he's gonna participate for a lap hog photo. But this is definitely a lap hog. That is a easy 19 incher. 19 and a half if you put the tail down. Whew, okay. Not quite my PB, but very close. Just a couple ounces shy. And wow, I could tell this thing was a stud the moment I hooked into it. Let's see if we can get one lap hog picture real quick. Oh yeah, this might work. Oh, he did the gulping thing like a catfish. One last look at it. Studly smallmouth. Wow, look how thick this bass is, man. That's insane. Let's make sure. I'm gonna make sure this beautiful smallmouth is okay. It goes back to its natural environment. You ready, buddy? You've been thrashing the whole time. You'd think you were lively enough. Oh, he's taking big gulps now. There you go, buddy. Wow. Just a beautiful fish, man. Hey, buddy. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> it's like he's playing possum on me. Oh man, that is sketchy. Hopefully it calms down once I get up here to this flat, Jesus. That is crazy, boys. This is where we caught that first fish this morning. Looks totally different. The geese are clinging to life. <laughs> Don't worry, they're gonna let up in like three hours. Enjoy that little tuft while you, uh, while you got it. Good luck, geese and duckies. Even the ducks are up here. Good luck, guys. Wish me luck, too. I'm gonna need it going down these rapids. Oh, we're almost home for you, boys. This section's gonna be kind of interesting, though. I mean, honestly, I could probably just go over it. Uh, usually, I don't go over these section of rapids because it's a pretty good drop-off, but I could probably just go over it today. But that's okay. I know this is the safe way, so we're gonna take this. It's actually a lot more chill than I thought it would be. Nice. That was the last section I was really uh, worried about, so. Although this is looking kind of choppy right now. <laughs> I had to say something, didn't I? This friggin' surf fishing out here. This is by far the sketchiest it has been while I've been out here. We pushed it to the limit today, boys. Oh, yeah. That's a largey. Oh, no. Dang. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Appreciate you guys tuning in. This has been the Eastman Hall. Now, if you guys wanna recreate this and do this exactly what I did today, then I'll leave everything in the description to directions, locations, and even times to actually do it. Best times of the year, all that kind of stuff. Just know it can change within a second. You guys saw the drastic change from earlier this morning and it is like that almost every single day over here. So just keep that in mind. It's not a trip for the weary. But if you guys found this video enjoyable or helpful in any way, then be sure to hit the like button below, comment, rate, subscribe, do what you guys do, and we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>